What's up guys, Cloudy here, checking in with some news of the recent fiasco that Vespa managed to pull off with Guild Conquest. Um, seems I was a bit too fast to praise our glorious new leadership because they managed to do this. Now, um, for those of you who weren't following um, today or on Wednesday actually, uh, Guild Conquest was supposed to open and people who were trying to play it, especially because they wanted to do the Estelle missions, have found that they actually couldn't because it just wouldn't let them connect. This then led to a note from Vespa that they were investigating, then suddenly an in-game notice came up that there will be a uh, an emergency maintenance, which I only saw like 30 minutes before the actual maintenance happened. And then the servers went down for four hours and then for another three hours. As they say, now the servers are back up after the altogether seven hour um, maintenance period and everything seems to be okay-ish now, except it still took me like three crashes until I got on with one of my accounts. But whatever, the issue seems to have been with the AWS connection. I'm, I didn't even know that the servers were on AWS, that's interesting. Although I guess it does make sense to some extent. Um, so yeah, they have fixed this it seems and everyone is receiving 1k rubies and the Europe server gets one daily mission reward box which adds uh, which gives you the the rewards for the daily mission. Now the main problem with this is that um, the way they handled it some people have lost like very long login streaks there is also the event for um, for the guild attendants and yeah it's just kind of uncool especially like i have heard about people losing like 1k plus days of login and now they just um yeah they just lost that and that's that's really i i wouldn't feel like i'm compensated for that with if, if they gave me 1k rubes i i wouldn't feel compensated for that in any way like really they should just fix that for the people who couldn't log in during that time because yeah this is this is like super uncool and definitely not a not a good start for the new leadership um but yeah let's hope that they can avoid such things again we are getting back to the to the topic that all of this could have been avoided with proper testing before releasing stuff into production or live or whatever you want to call it and I've said this so many times that Jesus Christ Vespa why don't you use your own players to test stuff even if you can if you want to avoid spoilers and story stuff leaking out you could probably make the uh, the test server so that only the, the actual game content is tested so people can see if everything is working that would make a lot of these issues like so much more manageable and, and less painful because yeah they are definitely not not collecting good points with their uh, with their player base doing this kind of stuff if you look into the comments in the maintenance post like there are some really angry people out there and to some extent I can agree and and understand especially with those who really did lose uh, some some long time accumulated uh, logins which which are a sort of achievement I am proud that I have been playing this for so long even that like makes me a super no lifer or whatever but whatever but yeah so kind of sad kind of sad and I really do hope for their sake that um, that they can improve from this and we will not be seeing such kind of such things anymore because it just really gives them a bad name now um, there is also an event of which I wanted to do a video yesterday or at least mention it in a post. Uh, basically this is the play the guild rate content for 12 days, yeah lol. Basically um, they need you to participate in the guild rate content every day for 12 days. If you do not miss a single day then uh, you can see the rewards coming here for 1, 3, 6, 9 and then finally 12 days of playing. Um, it's not as simple there is also again a google form that you need to enter your account details into i'll just put this post into the description of the video so you guys can fill it out and the only servers partaking are korea asia america and europe so no um, no japan server 
and I believe no no Hong Kong Taiwan server either. I think that's the other one that's left out. Yeah. Um, hmm. Well, um, that's it really, guys. Kind of sad news for for now. I hope they get their shit together because it's really not cool to be running into these kind of issues. Um, yeah. Well, with these sad news, this has been cloudy for now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.